I'm dead tired. I'm dead tired. I'm dead tired. Oh, this round really got me. I'm really, really exhausted. Oh, this took it out of me. At this point, this is nothing but mind games. My legs are destroyed. Oh, I really, I'm in some serious pain now. Hola muchachos, it's been a long time. So for anyone that knows me, they understand that I take difficult challenges very seriously. And back in January, I started to think and to get reminders of the 4448 running challenge created by David Goggins. And I started to reflect on what I thought I had finished. So it turns out while I was looking through Instagram that I made a couple of strategic mistakes and I calculated things wrong and I had actually not completed the challenge. So initially, I understood the run as being four miles every four hours after each run for 48 hours. Nope. So that means if I calculated things that way, that would give me an additional hour of rest between each round or an additional 11 hours of rest from beginning to end, which makes a big difference. So instead of having only four hours between each round, I actually had the run plus the additional four hours. And that is not the correct way of executing that. And that really bothered me because I didn't finish something I thought I already had and that would live in my brain forever. And some can say, Carlos, that's still a big achievement. Why does that matter? You still ran 48 hours and did 44 miles. But that's not the point. The point is to do something correctly, to do it right. Maybe that doesn't make sense to others, but to me, it really does and it really bothers me. And although that past run fundamentally changed the way I thought and I approached life and the way I just took in life as a whole really affected me in a positive way, um, but how could I be satisfied knowing that I hadn't completed something I thought I did? How could I be satisfied with that little reminder in my head clicking, always asking me, telling me that I hadn't actually finished something? It's a matter of personal satisfaction to me to complete a task correctly. And how could I say to others that I had finished something when I hadn't? I would have considered myself a fraud and not just it's not just about like an image it's just something that deep down inside i know i could have done but i didn't go all the way i didn't take all the necessary steps and i wasn't able to complete the challenge as it was originally intended so i decided i wanted to redeem myself and prove that i could actually do it here's the problem i only had about a month and a half before the actual challenge typically takes place which was march 3rd and even though i am some a little bit athletic and i go to the gym four times per week i do work different parts of my body and when i do run i only run uh two short runs per week which include a quick sort of run for about 12 minutes and never longer than a mile and a half to two miles, which means really I don't never run more than five miles per week and like no long distance runs, like almost never. Maybe once a month I'll do like a 50 minute run, which will equate to about five miles. That's not a lot of running. And the last time I actually tried the 4448, I was actually running 10 to 20 miles per week, which is significantly much more running training that I do have now. So how in the world was I supposed to uh, even attempt this challenge with such little time to train left? I was really scared to do this. And to be honest, I really questioned myself. Um, and I knew that if I was going to take on this challenge that I would have to rely on my knowledge from the previous run and just my workout knowledge in general. So what I started to do is I added one long distance run of about six miles per week, which doesn't sound like a lot, but I would follow that run by using by uh, putting on a weighted vest and running up a hill, which uh, I actually posted a video about that previously, so check that out, um, which is actually quite difficult. It's a very steep hill that goes from the bottom of uh, the hill where St. George's Church begins to the top of the Basilica of Fourvière here in Lyon. Um, it's a tough 
climb and I really the goal was to get my legs as stressed as possible for as long as possible and just to get them ready for the sort of stress that I know this this run and this challenge encompasses now something I learned is that when I post that I'm going to do something online I get completely obsessed about completing it and I know in my mind I'm gonna do whatever it takes to finish it so I decided to put up a post on February 9th, less than a month before the 448 challenge where I see myself taking on this challenge fiercely. From there on out, you see me posting stories and reels about how my training was going and my workouts, how I was preparing. And I have to admit some of it was extreme, but as mentioned earlier, I really had to get myself prepared for this challenge by stressing my legs as much as possible. Because one thing I understood from the past is that by the time you get to the fifth sixth round, your legs really start to give out. What the audience didn't know is just how unprepared and injured I really was. At that point, all I really wanted to know was, could I complete my task with this minimal training? And what happened next is the following. Welcome to 4448 round two, France edition. I didn't sleep much the last two days, but mentally I think I'm ready. Physically, I think I've trained a lot. Um, I'm just hoping that I can make it through. I know what it takes to complete this event. I've done this before. Uh, it's not easy. The next 48 hours will be a bit of a difficult task to do, but I'm looking forward to this challenge. And even though the weather's not great and the air quality is not very good either, we're gonna get through this. Um, hopefully, my body doesn't take too bad of a hit, <laughs> but it's expected. The most important thing is to keep this strong. Let's do this thing. Let's go. Let the games begin. 10 a.m. You can hear the bell. Let's do this. Hopefully, I'll be okay by the first run. I'll keep you posted when I get back and let's see how my time progresses and I'll keep you posted on uh, anything that's going on with me, my body, mentally, everything. Let's go. First five minutes of the run. Let's see how this is going to feel and how it's going to look in uh, 48 hours. Let's go. I'm trying to keep a light pace. Something not too heavy. I mean, this is round one. It's early in the day. But I think as long as I keep my head strong and as long as I keep my mentality in a state of positivity and uh, I try to mitigate the little injuries or the little problems before they get bigger throughout the run. Hopefully I'll be able to complete this thing. It's a nice day. It's beautiful, but it's very cold. Halfway through the first round. So far, feeling okay. Feeling good. Don't want to get confident though. Let's keep going. And let's try to finish at least this one for now. Let's go. Almost there. Round one, coming to a close soon. Six kilometers, almost there. 6.38, 6.4. Round number one complete. 6.4 kilometers, four miles. Woo! All right, good. I'm feeling okay. Right now, I'm feeling a little bit of uh, mild swelling on my right knee. I think it's gonna be okay. I'm going to uh, have some breakfast. I'm gonna stretch out a little bit. Um, and then just play it by ear and see how my body's feeling. But mentally, I'm feeling good. Let's go. Power breakfast. First, let's continue with coffee. Round two. Let's go, take it light. I think we're gonna do this. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. The wind is picking up, it is cold. Let's get it done. Check out that view. Let's do this. Somebody's waiting for me. <laughs> Mwah, that's my wife. Remember, this little hill is gonna be trouble on the way back. Not right now, but in the future runs 100%. Halfway around two, halfway around two. 
I can start feeling a little bit of my calf on the left. My knee's feeling okay, but uh, my right Achilles a little bit down. But I got this. We're almost there, halfway. Ooh, this little slant on the road. Oh, that, I'm gonna be feeling that in the later rounds for sure. I'm starting to feel a little bit of a blister on my pinky toe on my left foot and uh, a lot of heat on the balls of my feet, but it's okay. This is normal, I expected this. I remember at this point last time I did it, I was feeling kind of similar, maybe a little worse. Let's see what happens. And 40. Oh, a round two complete. Oh, you can probably see I'm already limping. Oh my goodness, yeah, not bad. The temperatures helps because it's a little bit cold, which is I think ideal for me for running. Ah, but the wind kind of sucks. Um, but yeah, I'm starting to feel my right, the balls of my feet on my right foot are starting to really feel pain. And my left Achilles. So I'm having to uh, shift where I put pressure on my foot, but it's okay, I'm gonna rest my feet. I'm gonna massage my feet a little bit, rest it out. I'm gonna eat something else um, and stretch a little bit out. And uh, let's see how the next round goes. Let's keep going, boom. Round three, let's go. You can hear the bell, it's the hour. Let's see how we do this time. Ooh, this weather is getting colder and somebody's waiting for me at the bridge, trying to take a video for my video that I'll post later for sure. Anyway, gotta go, let's do this. Let's go my babe. This weather's getting brutal. Oh man, my knees, my elbows, my joints are frozen right now but I'm sure I'll warm up. Let's see how I feel during the midpoint of this round. Let's go. This thing, man, going down, no problem. Coming back up, good times. Oh, I love this river. It's getting dark. You start to feel it, man. More so when you're headed back, some of them are super, inclined and steep and that's when you start to fatigue those will do the most damage so you got a mental prepare be ready for those when they're coming halfway there halfway through round three let's keep doing this i'm feeling okay i mean i do feel pain on my right knee and like i said earlier on my left calf but we're good let's go this damn steep little slope whoa oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I'm gonna be so happy the last time I do this and I'm done. That is not fun. That is not fun. The wind is super cold and I just have a runny nose now. Ooh, it's getting dark. I'm almost done with number three though. Let's go. I got another one in four hours after this. Ah, I got some blisters. It's looking pretty. <laughs> done with number three. Only like nine to go. So, it's all right. Let's do this. Uh, round three complete. How am I feeling? I'm doing okay. Oh, yeah, that right knee, that left calf, the balls of my feet on both my feet. They're starting to burn. I'm sure I'm gonna start getting more blisters soon, but it's okay. I'm done. Rest it out for the next three hours or so. Get back on it. Next time I gotta wear my lamp though, cause you can see it's dark. It's pretty though. Round three complete. Hello everybody. I'm about to start round. Uh, as you can see, it's a night time, so I got to uh, wear a little bit of light to give me some visibility. So not too bad. Actually, it's very cool. I can just attach this to my hat. It's super bright. Um, I know there's going to be some areas down by the river. You can see when I get to that direction that are pretty dark. They're sort of below the street. So I want to make sure like I don't take a spill, brain an ankle or like step on dog poop or something. Anyway, I'm ready to do part four. Let's do this. Round four. Let's go. Ooh, it's cold, but the bright lights of this bridge will guide me back. Let's see how we do when we get to the middle. Here we go. It's hard to see anything right now. <laughs> it's okay though. I got the street all to myself. I'm gonna be heading down by the river. Let's see how dark it gets. Maybe I won't even need to use my headlamp. Let's see. It's kind of cool actually. I feel like I'm inside of a giant spaceship or something like that. Oh, 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 my legs are not feeling good. Oh, we're going. 
it's not as dark as I thought it was gonna be, which is a good thing. There's plenty of lighting, but it could be because it's still early. Let's see at 2 a.m. Halfway around four. That guy's really annoying. <laughs> it's hard. My pace is slowed down for sure. From my knees down, I'm really starting to feel a lot of pain. Just hold on. That's the name of the game. I knew this one was gonna start beating me by the end of the day for sure. Oh, that shit hurts. Round four. Complete. Oh ho 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 ho. I am really feeling it guys. Yeah, the bottom of my feet are just killing me. My left calf, not happy, but um, I get to take a shower now and I think I'm actually gonna try to get some sleep because I gotta be up three hours. All right, so let's do this. Did somebody say round five? Oh, it's 2 a.m. Yeah, everything hurts. It's really effing cold. Yeah, everything in my freaking legs and on my back hurts, but let's do this because why not? I'm in serious pain. Oh, my Achilles tendon is killing me. At this point is where the actual 448 begins because everything else before this, very tolerable. Now we're getting into a different zone. We gotta do this. Let's go. Let's go. Nobody's out here. It's just me. It's not scary to be out here by myself. Not at all. There's a piece to it. The scary part is fighting what's in here right now. There's a lot of stuff telling me to stop. This is how I know I've begun the 4448 because I remember from last time it's at this point where it's sort of a make and break mind games begin. I just gotta be a tenacious bastard, that's it. Let's hope I can get through this. Halfway to the fifth, 28.9 kilometers, 18 miles. Now we're crossing into a different zone. 6.4, 6.4. I'm dead tired, I'm dead tired. Ooh, this round really got me. I'm really, really exhausted. Oh, this took it out of me. At this point, that is nothing but mind games. My legs are destroyed. Oh, I really, I'm in some serious pain now. Honestly, I don't feel good anymore. Like this is, this is where the 4448 is like the challenge. Bottom of my feet are killing me. My left hip is just really starting to cause a lot of pain. The bottom of my feet are just not well. My right Achilles tendon burning. This is one of the worst things. When I get home, I still have to get up these stairs. Oh my God, this sucks. <laughs> the end of my race does not end until I get there. Starting round six, I got no cool speed, no nothing. Right now, honestly, I'm in so much pain. I had to pop so many blisters <sighs> and I have to wrap my feet in tape. So I'm just gonna start and just keep going because there's nothing else to say and do. Let's go. I started round six about three minutes ago. My right knee, oh, this is just not feeling well. I was having trouble going down the stairs. I'm having trouble lifting my legs up as I'm running. I had to wrap my feet in tape. I had some really nasty blisters after the last round. I had to pop them all, wrap them up, change my socks. Here we go. If you want to do something like this, really question why you're doing any of it because there's no prize, there's no trophies, there's nothing like that at the end. So check your character because this will humble you. This will really humble you. You gotta go beyond what you think is capable in your mind. And if you're a person that likes to give up when it's hard, then you're in for a rude awakening. This on the way back sucks so bad. I told you, this little incline on the way back, man, it really hurts. Not a soul in sight. Lonely. Yeah, it gets pretty lonely. You just start talking to this and you could even think like, well, at least you got music to listen to. <laughs> when I record, first of all, 
the music shuts off and I've been trying to film everything so I'm not listening too much and even when I do it's just my head being like yeah no motivation no music is gonna help you out right now my friend so just stop just stop my brain keeps telling me this but I know there's more in there and there's more to dig in I'm only halfway so I'm not gonna have any delusions that this is the end of it I've been here before I did this before and I know how your brain can start playing mind games with you. This shit is no joke. It's halfway there. If I tell you I'm in pain, you already know that. But I tell you what, it's mind games. It's nothing but mind games and I can feel it because I'm all over the place. I'm hitting highs, I'm hitting lows. This is a total, like very raw human experience that you can only get from something like this. I've covered 24 miles so far. I, there's nothing I can say right now. I'm in, I'm in agonizing pain. That is, that's all really I can say. My hip, my left hip is killing me. The front part of the bottom of my feet are just destroyed. My feet are wrapped up in tape. My right Achilles tendon is really inflamed. I can feel it. And I'm sure I'm gonna have to pop more blisters. It is what it is. One step at a time. Holy cow. Ah. I'm just gonna try to get through the thing. Yeah, I'm going through a lot of emotional highs and lows during the runs, and I'm just trying to stay positive in between each one. Um, even when I'm running and I'm trying to set up these little numbers up here that you see, um, I'm, I'm running and trying to post them. So I'm trying to focus, not fall and do all that stuff. It's kind of sucks. <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm just filming myself. So it's, it's a little bit difficult, but Trying to stay positive. Hopefully we got this. My speed is slowing down. It's fine. I mean, as long as I finish, that's the most important thing for me. Round seven, here we go. Oh, I can barely move my legs. Ah, oh, it's really cold. This wind, this, this wind chill is brutal. Ah, I'm just trying to get through this whole thing. So let's start, see where we're at at the end of this run. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. The thought that I have to do another 24 miles of this? Oh, what the hell did I get myself into? I'm sure it's for something and I'm digging for something. We're gonna find out what it is. People are out and about. I like it, a lot of runners right now, which just motivates me. It's just hard when you're by yourself, but you know, you also get to play around with your mind, really take a lot of things into consideration. And I think one of the things that makes the pain and your whole body is you start considering or thinking about a lot of negative things. But I think it's important to have those sort of deep thoughts that bother you to confront yourself and to push through them to remind yourself that you're much stronger than you think you are. And not just that, like you're capable of way more. And the thing is like, I've already done this run in the past. So I know how difficult it is. And even then, this is still super challenging. It's a great way to remind myself that. Like, what are you doing for yourself now? You know? What are you doing for yourself now to keep yourself humble and curious and not become cynical and, you know, get stuck in your same frame of thought and um, it really brings out who you really are. It doesn't have to be for anybody else. It could just be for you. That's it. There's nothing more important than that. Because if you don't even know who you are, when something like this is hurting you physically and mentally and all you want to do is just not even get up and continue and in that sense it's worth doing this because it could really change your life in a lot of ways or at least impact your mentality in a very positive way halfway through round seven oh this wind is brutal ah, i'm just trying to smile because everything else it just kind of sucks but this turns the volume down on everything else experiencing this kind of physical and mental agony puts you in a different mind space Ooh. Let's see how we look at the end of this. Let's not get too confident. It's starting to feel like a slow poke. Oh man, I wish I could run that fast right now. It seems like everyone's passing me. It's okay, I don't mind. Because what they don't know is that while they were sleeping, I was putting in miles. I'd like to know where they'd be at. With the cold, the pain, with the sleep deprivation for sure. But it's not about anybody else right now. Except me. Just getting through this. 
it's funny though. It feels kind of cool that people pass you. It's humbling for sure. About to finish number seven. Oh, I'm almost there. I'm super exhausted. But I think so far, uh, hopefully, I can handle the next one. Round eight. Here we go. I think I'm going to start a little slow. I'll probably take just as long as the last one. But completing is the name of the game. Oh, man. This one is killing me. Oh, the back of my left knee. It's a lot of pain. More than any of the other runs. Like it's building up. A lot of the pain is just, I can feel my legs are getting stiffer and stiffer every run. Despite the stretching. Yeah, I need to figure something out. Made it halfway for round eight. 48.2 kilometers, 30 miles. <laughs> Going strong? Not really, but we're going. That's what counts. Perfect time. We will come out to stop. This is probably as crowded as it's gonna get. I'm sure it'll be less and less. Probably by six, there won't be that many people left. <gasps> Just finished. Round eight. Oh, this one was very tough. Very mind taxing. I'm just trying to make it through this. Uh, luckily, I get to take a shower. I'm gonna try to eat as much as I can and uh, use that foam roller on my legs because I'm not sure that they can move very well after this. They were already in bad condition, so let's see what happens. Ninth round, not five, ninth round, okay? Uh, I actually have a running partner with me. This is Mario. She's gonna be running with me. I'm very grateful, so I don't have to run by myself this time. Um, we're about to start, so let's get this party started. Let's go. <laughs> ah, by the way, I'm dying. Oh, so it's nice to have someone running with me. Tu peux, Marion? Hey, allez, let's go, Carlos, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Halfway through number nine, almost there. I can only smile now, I'm just in pain. Marion looks super strong. Yes. <laughs> oh, I can't keep up with it. It's too much. Forty. Woo. Finish. Oh. Merci. Yes. Oh my God. Nine. Ah, oh. three to go. That was hard. Oh, my legs are killing me. But it was nice to have company running. So, merci, Marion. Bravo à toi. Ah, I'm dead tired. It was very nice to have someone running with me. <laughs> she was running much faster than I am, so it's okay. It was good. Ah, it didn't feel so lonely this time, so it's very cool. Round number 10. I have someone else following me right now. Now it's Estelle. Let's do this! Yeah, but see, she's got a bike, so she's smarter than all of us. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm about to start and uh, not feel my legs for like five days after this because I my legs are destroyed. Let's start, let's go. Ah. Ah. Halfway, round 10. I'm barely even running. Ah. I'm really taking a pounding. Estelle's following me. Where is Estelle? Ah, oh, there she is. <laughs> you see her in her right back there. Woo! Ah, round 10. Complete. Ah, I am not having a good time. I am in more pain than any of the other ones. Estelle's here. Yeah, whoa, whoa. Good. Oh, man. I don't know how I'm doing the next two. I'm dead tired. She followed me the entire way on her bike. Thank you so much, Estelle. Let's I appreciate go. it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you see me smiling and laughing, but trust me, nothing inside feels that way. <laughs> Especially not my legs. Uh, anyway, two to go. Let's see if I can do this. I'm honestly in severe pain now. Round 11, second to last. I cannot believe I made it this far. Honestly, I don't know how I'm going to complete the next two. I didn't realize how bad my legs were going to feel. Um, 
I, I guess I'm almost there. So I guess all I can do now is just start. So round 11, let's do this. Second to last, started about, I don't know, eight minutes ago. I'm so exhausted. It's hard to keep track of me just making videos or even me being able to hold the camera and think or create thoughts. What I can tell you is this, I really wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to wake up and run for this. Now I'm running at a super slow pace, but in my mind, I was just ready to like start walking. I was like, just walk, man, just walk. So here we are, suffering, suffering well, I hope. Halfway through round 11, I'm so exhausted. I'm so done. I don't know how I'll be able to do the last one, but at this point I've gone this far. And even though my legs feel like I can barely take a step at all, I gotta keep going. Uh, I'm barely even running. Barely even running. My legs are locked up. Oh my God. I'm so exhausted. Just finished. I'm barely even able to move my legs. I'm done with round 11. I'm almost there. But this is brutal. The wind chill is super bad. Like it's so cold. It hurts your face just to be able to run. My legs were just locking from the cold and just from the fatigue. Uh, one more to go. I have no idea how I'm gonna finish that last one. But lucky for me, my wife said she's gonna join me, so uh, I'm very happy for that, but I can just barely move my legs right now. This is really, really like, painful. Don't try this at home, kids. Thank goodness for my arm strength. <laughs> Round 12, final round. Uh, I'm in a lot of pain. <laughs> uh, I was limping a lot toward the end of my last run. I had the wind hitting me. It was one degree Celsius, but it felt less than that because of the wind chill. And my muscles just started to spasm and like lock. And um, I'm not sure I recovered from that. So I'm not sure that I'll be able to run the whole way. I'll try a little bit, but I, as long as I get this done and I get those miles covered, I think I'm pretty content with that. Um, and to finish the run, um, my wife's gonna be going with me. So I'm very excited about this. I'm glad that she's gonna like finish this with me because she's been my biggest supporter throughout all of this. So let's just get this party started. Yeah. Round 12, let's go. Oh, ow, oh, I really cannot. <laughs> Let's go. I'm not gonna see these lights for a long time or maybe ever again. Mm -hmm. And I'm okay with that. <laughs> yeah. I'm limping. I feel like a wounded duck. <laughs> we look like ninjas. <laughs> it's yeah, it's freezing cold. There's no way I would have been able to continue running. It's just impossible. My nose, my throat hurts from this cold wind. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Almost there though. Almost reached midway. We were done. To put it frankly, it was too cold and it was just time to finish this thing. I was too exhausted. So cold. <laughs> so cold. <sighs> Last of it. This is a beautiful view. There she is. Round 12, complete, 4448 Lyon, check, and done. <laughs> I'm dying, how are you oh, feeling? Too, I'm so it's so cold, shit. Ah, uh, let's go get some breakfast, for real. This is how what celebration looks like. 4448, round 12, finished. Done. We're gonna go celebrate by having a pan chocolat. Bam. I'm very looking forward to taking a long, long nap. Yeah. Oh, have you been following me? Thank you. 
So there's not much to say at this point. I'm too exhausted and too cold. I just want to go home. All right, we're done. 4448, Feeny comes. <laughs> done. Bye. Filling up this board was very gratifying and I was very proud of myself. This is the victory prize after all that and the hot coffee. Oh, feels so good to just be inside. I can't wait for that shower. Some of the challenges one goes through when taking on an event like this are mental and some are physical, but I also find that a lot of times they're inseparable and intertwined, especially when you're trying to accomplish something that doesn't necessarily have an impact or direct influence on someone else and you're pretty much doing it for yourself. I've come to understand that anytime you take on a big challenge like this and you're able to complete it, it has a really important valuable lesson that really changes the way you view your yourself, the world, and your approach in life in a very positive way. And that at the end of the day, even though there might be people around you that may doubt what you're doing or think you're crazy, it doesn't matter because what matters in the end is what you think of yourself and learning that you, even though some people may put limitations, you don't have to believe in them and that the only limitations that you're going to have in this life are based on what you have right here. So I hope you keep challenging yourself and you try your best, not for anyone else, but for yourself. Take it easy, muchachos. Carlos.